In Alabama, farming is more than just a way of life. It's the state's number one industry and until recent years relied heavily on immigrant workers. But six years ago, Alabama introduced the country's harshest anti-illegal immigration law and undocumented workers left in droves. Uh, they really didn't like it, especially the ones that had a, a big crop in the field and they lost all the workers. Third generation farmer Scott Benton says the effect on farming was devastating. Pretty bad that year. Uh, like I said, a lot of people left and uh, all the workers left and, and people were, you know, how they had the crops out there ready to harvest so they didn't have anybody to pick them. So a lot of farms lost their whole crop and went out of business because they, they lost all their money. The wide sweeping law made it illegal to hire or house undocumented workers and even Hispanic school children were targeted by the authorities. <sighs> Aware of the need for agricultural workers, Jerry Spencer turned to unemployed Americans but says after two weeks most couldn't cope. The farmer says start over here and end over here and that was the extent of their instructions. Uh, with the American workers, they all had to be taught all this and separate and, and uh, in addition to the fact that their bodies just were not built for it. Within weeks of being enacted, the law faced legal challenges from the federal government and local businesses who say it cost Alabama billions in lost income and taxes. Some of the thousands of Latinos who fled the state have begun to return. There you Thank go. You. you have a blessed day, okay? All right. But for many business owners, the law has left a bitter taste. You have to have a plan set up for that to take place. It's no different than the bills, uh, health care bill and stuff like that. Nothing can be replaced unless you really have a long set up process for the next thing to take hold. Um, you can't just say, hey, I'm going to get rid of these people and then look at the farmers that are left without workers. For a brief period, Alabama's anti-immigration law was the harshest and most far-reaching in the country. But even here, in a state that President Trump won easily, it proved deeply unpopular. In the six years since this law was put into place, it's become fairly clear that agriculture, businesses and even church services have been impacted. So if there is a lesson to be learnt here in Alabama, it's that these kinds of laws aren't just hard to put into place, they're also hard to enforce without affecting the wider community. Andy Gallagher, Al Jazeera, Clanton, Alabama.